Victoria Nicole, 27, Miss Universe, Paradise Island. I entered the pageant because I love the capital that it has around women empowerment, which is my platform. I love the fact that it shows unity between women from different countries around the world, and I would love to experience something like that with them on a larger scale. I'm very optimistic. I'm always the person who says, you know, don't, don't ever think you can't do anything. Don't let anyone ever tell you you can't do anything because you can do anything. There's nothing that God won't allow you to do. Some of the things that make me unique, I would have to say that I'm very multifaceted. I do a lot of activities outside of, you know, regular work. I love to model. I love to dance. I love to bake. Eating it as well. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm actually writing a book right now as well. Um, and I love to read. I'm very big on, you know, like Twilight, Harry Potter, those type of essence of books. They always attracted me since I was younger, goosebumps, things like that. So one day I just had this idea of the princess of the moon and the prince of the sun falling in love with each other. And it's kind of like a, a modern take on Romeo and Juliet. It's, it's not, you know, it's a forbidden love, but they still fight to be with each other and it causes a war between the two kingdoms. I don't go too deep into it, it's very deep. <laughs> <laughs> I would say I love the most our history and where we come from. We derived you know, from a very, very hard time and we still grew and became a very prestigious and happy people. We're always happy, we're always you know, uplifting each other and I love that about the Bahamas. I believe this was about the sixth grade, I wanna say that time, and I was on the bus and I took a, I don't know what I was thinking about, I don't know what was going through my mind. I was just sitting on the bus twirling a comb in my hair, round and round and round. By the time I got to school, I couldn't get the comb out of my hair. So I just went in my bag, took a pair of scissors, and just chopped a huge chunk of my hair out. So I had a humongous patch of hair missing in the front. My mother was furious. And I had to wear my hair out to cover it so that nobody would make fun of me for the rest of the year. <laughs> that would also have to be my mom. As hard of a woman as she is, because she's very, very, you know, have your ducks in a row, you have to look a certain way, speak a certain way, be a certain way. She really instilled in me what it is to be a strong woman. She had me very young, you know, and she worked and worked and worked to make sure me and my brothers had everything, but she was always there. She would always, you know, push me to be more than I could, you know, anything that I ever thought I could be. You know, she's like, always tell me, what's the purpose behind what you're doing? Is it gonna progress you further? If not, then you don't need to do that. And I, that is something that will always stay with me because of her. I just wanna let everyone know to follow me in the competition, Miss Universe Paradise Island, and hashtag Beauty by Nature.